Hey guys, Eric Zanda here, and today I'm going to show you how to um, open zip files and RAR files and extract um, files out of them. So for this, I, ha I have two files, um, a RAR file and a zip file. And um, if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, um, you should be able to, for a zip file, easily without downloading any extra software, right click it and just press extract all. Choose where you want the files to go. Um, I'm going to have it go to my desktop and just press extract. And wait a little bit and it should come out like that. But, so, for just zip files, all you have to do is right click it like that. But, um, for RAR files, you're going to need extra software to do it. And, um, the software that I'm going to use is WinRAR. And, um, that's what I use for all of my videos. Um, it works for Macs, um, for PCs, and also for Linux systems. Um, it's pretty versatile in that. Um, but first let me explain what a RAR and a zip file is. It's basically um, taking a bunch of different files and merging them all together in one folder that has a significantly lower file size so that you can send out multiple files at once. It's, it's sort of like putting everything into a briefcase, um, printing it on an airplane, and then opening it up once you get back if that makes any sense. Um, but for RAR files right now, you're basically screwed until you follow the rest of my video. Um, you're going to need WinRAR, and um, I'll give this link to you in the description. Um, if you have a 32-bit PC, you're going to want to click this one. And if you have a 64-bit PC, you're going to want to keep uh, find one of these um, in your language. And as you can see, there's a Mac version, there's a Linux version, and I don't know what that is, but if you have that, there's that version too. Um, so I'm using a 64-bit PC, and if you don't know, let me tell you really quickly how to find out um, if you have a 64 or 32-bit using Windows 7. Um, go to this little button right here and type in system, system information, click that, and it should be right here, my system type. So I have 64, if yours is 32, then you have 32. So let me just go to 64-bit English which is somewhere around here. Here we go. Nope, that's 32-bit. Let me search again. There it is, right here. So I'm just going to click it, and it'll take me to this next page. Um, you don't want to buy it. It says it, it asks you to buy it, but you never actually have to do it. Um, so just press download WinRAR, the blue button right here. Uh... Yeah, you don't have to sign up for this newsletter, just ignore that. And then this little extension will appear in your downloads. If you have Chrome, it'll appear down here. If you have Firefox, it'll appear up here and whatever. So just open it up when you're done, the extension file. Um, install, agree. Um, WinRAR will be associated with all of these different types of files. This is good. Um, yeah, just leave it like that. You might want to add to desktop, start menu, all that. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to leave it as default and press OK. <clears throat> and that's it. And now you have WinRAR installed. So now, as you can see, I go back to my desktop, and all of a sudden, the zip and the RAR files both look like books. Um, now this RAR file, if I double-click it, it'll open, and all the pictures that are inside will appear up here. Um, and this this ad or this pop up will appear, um, but you don't actually ever have to buy WinRAR at all. Um, so yeah, now all the files are in here. Um, earlier we weren't able to actually view them. So how do you take them out? Well, it's easy. You just right click, and press Extract Files, or you can extract it. If you press Extract here, it'll bring them all onto your desktop. If you press Extract Files, you can choose the destination where you want the files to um, be placed. But I'm just going to place them on my desktop by right clicking and pressing extract here. And it might take a couple seconds and then boom all the files that were in the folder are now out here. So that's for a RAR, also for a zip if I just press extract here. And now that file is out as well. And you can do this for a bunch of different type of file types. Um, you can use this to um, uh, extract ISOs from different zip files, which I do a lot in my videos. Um, ISO files being like images. Um, a bunch of different types of things can be pulled out 
of this basically and um, yeah all you need is that little third-party software um what else can you do okay I can delete these I don't need them um, let's take all these files let's move these out of the way let's take all of these files and actually put them into a zip file um, saying that we are gonna send it because if you highlight them all right click go to properties you can see that it's 17 megabytes which isn't that much but if I were to select them all again right click one of them uh, go to add to RAR as you can see it'll take a little bit of time and it will all be formed into this so if I open it up all of a sudden it's all in this one folder or this one RAR file and if I right click that file go to properties now it's only 717 which is um, less than half of what it was before so if you were to want to send all of these files away um, like through email or something all you have to do is send them this one file and they'll be able to open it up and view all of them so that's basically what the basics of what WinRAR does um, I hope that this helped you out if it did be sure to rate comment subscribe thanks for watching